Hi, this is Nick from Canwell coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. So today we're going to be doing the third part of our multi-process 201 SLM video. So like I said before, this is a MIG synergistic, MIG manual, stick, and DC scratch start only TIG machine. So we've done the MIG, we've done the stick, today we're doing the scratch start TIG. We've got everything set up, we've got a bottle of Argon there. We got some quarter inch thick tickets today. I thought I'd set up some quarter inch thick because in the past we did one eighth and one eighth. So I thought we'd show that we can do some thicker material. And uh, we're gonna lay down a nice bead with this. We're gonna try to get some footage of the actual weld. And then when we're done, hold it up to the camera. You guys can take a look at whether or not the machine can do it and whether or not I can do it. So a couple quick things about this machine. Like I said, it's multi-process. It's got the synergistic controls so that if you're not an expert at setting up a MIG, you basically answer a few questions uh, and the machine's gonna set itself up for you. So we're gonna do that today with the TIG settings. We're gonna come in close so you guys can see it as well. Uh, and don't forget that this machine is also dual voltage. So you can plug it into a 110 or a 220, which is awesome. Maybe you wanna move this into a small shop, use that 220. Maybe you have a garage at home and all you have is a 110, the machine can still work and you can still get a lot of cool things done. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so watch how simple and slick this is. We're not gonna be doing MIG, we're gonna be doing TIG. So we'll hit our button. Here we get a quick reminder to reverse our polarity. Ground goes to the positive, uh, torch goes to the negative. So we'll skip through that. What size rod are we using today? We're gonna to be using 330, 332nd tungsten. Two step for me, I prefer two step over four. Now. We're going to be doing quarter inch thick steel. There we go. Now I like to go fast. So you can see here we've set to 150 on the amperage. I'm going to move to the upper limit because I tend to TIG pretty quick. But watch what happens if we go outside the standard welding perimeter. Now it goes into the red. Now we're probably going to be burning through the steel or having quite a bit of undercut. So let's go back. I'm going to sit this in around 165. But boys, it's sure nice having a machine that knows pretty much where I need to be. So that's it. We're all set. Here's the rundown of the parameters. TIG, two-step, argon gas, 332nd tungsten, quarter-inch thickness of steel, just in case you forgot. Okay, so let's go weld and see how we do. Okay, so we just finished our TIG weld. Uh, again, one more time, we're working with quarter inch thick steel. We were using a 332nd tungsten. I think it came out pretty nice. I'm gonna get my man to bring the camera in real close so you guys can see how good it was. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, so I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. We got good fusion on both sides. We were able to deal with some fairly thick plate, quarter inch thick steel, like I said. And uh, all in all, I'm very happy with that. Welded nice and smooth. I'm sure you guys can see from the up-close shot that we got, we had a really nice stable arc with this machine. Good stuff. Okay guys, so that wraps up our three-part series on the 201 SLM. We did some MIG, we did some stick, we did some TIG. I thought everything went pretty smooth, pretty cool. Machine worked awesome. Uh, we went over how easy it was to set up, which I thought was really impressive. So stick around, next week we're gonna be starting with the TIG ACDC right here, the Pulse D. We're gonna do some Pulse stuff with it, we're gonna weld some aluminum, we're gonna weld some steel, and we're gonna run the stick welder with it too and see how that all plays out. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if there's anything in particular that you guys wanna see, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I always watch and I check them out. If you have any ideas, throw them down there too. If you have any terrible criticisms, throw them in there too, I don't mind. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button if you liked it even more. And until I catch you guys next week, stay safe out there. Thanks a lot for watching.